The old medical morgue was made a quarter past the last century, but was still in pristine condition, complete with a cast iron door opening to the outside, a subdued secret rear entrance for the exhumed and or presumed dead allowing the ambulance and organ donors to pay their respects at the rear entrance as not to offend the living guests of the client. The old room, still in steel grey closets, fridges and carts, the shiny sheen gleamed in a grey gloom, as if this is the final resting tomb for the bodies that each morning are awaiting Mort's mortuary to open. The delivery man often rings twice as they know business is dead slow, but Mort offers a quality that no other mortician can top. Mort is a favourite for the after 6 a.m. drop. Mort opens the large cast iron door to reveal the grey sided steel of a wagon rusty in its dull silver. Today, the grey ghost roller, the meat wagon as they call it, was delivering three new bodies bagged and sacked like grade A beef. The delivery man and driver helped Mort manage with the bodies. Carefully, they carted them one by one into the morgue. Mort signed the papers as the men drove off again, leaving Mort with the dead. Mort scratched his bald head. It was not hereditary bald, but a choice to always be polished sharp for business. Mort also sported a very distinguished gentleman's mustachio, edging on debonair, but daringly distinct in its arc and curl. It was an exhibit of art upon his face. Mort looked at the dead and said with a glint, of a hint of a smile and surprise behind his eyes. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Mort unzips the black abyss of the rubber bag, opening the rank odor of death ripe into the room. Mort's nose <sniffs> inhales deeply a familiar flair to his daring nostrils, filling their fancy with a mouthful of foul putrid rot. The fitor of a dead body is unforgettable, and something that has been quite pleasing to Mort. He sniffs the stench in a wrenching of his neck, deeply inhaling the miasma as if it were heir to asthma. His moustache dances a tiny bit upon his lip. Mort parts a tiny crease and smiles. <laughs>